Alright, so now our workbook and our data are published to Tableau server. It's time now for our users to log into the Tableau server and start interacting with our dashboards. So let's see how this is going to work. Let's say your manager is Michael Scott and Michael wants to check your sales dashboards in Tableau server. And I am going to do it. I need a username. And I have a great one. And once Michael gives these informations, a request is going to be sent to the server as HTTP request. The first thing that it's going to hit is the gateway. The gateway knows that the application server is the right component to handle the authentication process. So the gateway is going to forward it to it. And then the application server is going to ask the repository to check if the credentials, username and password are correct. And if Michael has permission to access our server. And then the repository is going to check and if everything matches and Michael is allowed to access our server, it will respond back to the application server and going to say, yeah, we know the guy, he is in our records. Then the application server is going to start building the server UI and send it back to the gateway. And then the gateway is going to send it back to Michael browser. And now he is inside our Tableau server. So what we have just learned from this process, again, the gateway is responsible of forwarding the request to the right component. The application server is the one that gonna handles the authentication process. The repository is gonna store the user credentials and if the users have an access and permissions to our server, and the application server is the one that renders the web interface of the server. All right, so that's all for this process. Next, we will talk about what happens in Tableau once we access a workbook to view the data.